everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life and I have a planner video for you guys today. I ended up ordering an A5 plum paper planner and you can see this is a much smaller planner than I'm used to. I usually use the standard size planner. They're seven by nine and you can see quite a difference in sizing here. So it is a little bit smaller of a planner and I am just super excited. I'm trying new things, new planner things. So I will have some other hauls and reviews for you guys coming up, but this is a new plum paper planner. This is their A5 size and it is a daily planner. So I will walk through and show you guys everything. I wanna talk a little bit about plum paper planner itself because it is a great, great company. I just feel like it doesn't get the hype that some of the other planner companies get sometimes. I feel like it's often overlooked but it's just such a wonderful lovely planner it's one of the first like fancy big girl planners that I ever got so I have a special place in my heart for them and these planners I just love 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 their paper they do use a thick mohawk paper but it is smooth like really silky smooth not glossy but has this really slick smooth surface so a couple of different kinds of pens that are very gel pens will smear on this. That's the only thing you have to be careful with with this paper sometimes and I'm a lefty so I like hold my hand down as I'm writing and I definitely tend to smear inks so I have to be careful with what pens I use in this planner. Unfortunately my Pentel Energel is one of the pens that does tend to smear so I have to be really careful not to rub my hand over it as I'm writing but I just love their paper. I love, love everything about their company. They're just such a nice company to work with. Anytime I've ever had a problem or a question, they're really quick to respond back. And I've been a customer of theirs for years and years. So when I saw that they had a daily option, I went ahead and grabbed one and I wanted to test it out. Another great thing about Plum Paper Planner is they're like completely and utterly customizable. They have so many different layout options, not just a daily option. They've got all sorts of different kinds of weekly layout spreads that you can choose from. So there's lots and lots of options for that. You also can start whatever month you want to start on, basically anytime. I chose November because I knew my planner was going to ship sometime in October and I wanted to be able to start basically as soon as possible without wasting pages. So I picked November. So it starts November 2021. This happens to be a six month planner. And so it goes through April 2022, which is really cool. You just totally get to pick what month. The other really cool customization option you have is to pick your headings for different sections. So there's all sorts of different type of sections and you get to write whatever heading you want on any section. So I totally customized this perfectly to fit my needs and I'm so excited to be able to walk through the whole thing with you. They have a few different color schemes as well. Their neutral is more of like a darker blue instead of just black and white. So that's something to note if you're looking for a completely neutral planner, which to me is okay. My other one here is actually their neutral. So it's got like blue tabs, a little bit of blue accenting instead of black and white accenting. But yeah, I'm totally in love with the Plum Paper Planners. I'm gonna go ahead and hop to the unboxing so we can check it out in detail. I'll show you all the good details on the inside of this planner. Okay, this is gonna be first impressions. I'm sitting down. I just opened the box to make sure my address wasn't showing for it. So, Opening up the box here, you get the little personalized for you by you. Really cute. Tells you, you know, some of their stuff. And then the planner was wrapped up. I just pulled it open to make sure they didn't have like a packing slip that had my information on it. So that is it as far as the box goes. And we will open the planner up here. So this shows you the cover material, water resistant, tear proof, rigid, and sturdy. And I do feel like over the years, it's gotten better and better. I've used plum paper planners for years and years. And it seemed like at first I wasn't a huge fan of the covers and now they're okay. I'm gonna give you this little thing to, you know, mess with it. I tend to take the covers off and put Erin Condren covers on. But since this is a different size for me, this is an A5 by the way. Um, since it's a different size, I don't have a bunch of Erin Condren covers for it. So I will leave this cover on for now. It tells you care for your planner, keep it cool, keep it clean, keep it neat, keep it fresh. <laughs> okay, so we'll go ahead and open it up. It is very well protected. The box was really sturdy and then it was bubble wrapped and then it was wrapped in that. So one note, if you want to be able to remove the cover, you need to make a note for them in the comment section to make it removable and that will give you the little snip marks. You can, you know, use scissors and snip them yourselves if you want to remove them later and you didn't tell them, but just leave a note in the comment section when you purchase and they will snip it for you. So it's easily 
you know, removable if you want to exchange the covers. For now, this is going to be the cover that stays on it because I don't have a bunch of Erin Condren covers to replace it in this A5 size. So the plastic one stays on there. It is not snipped. It's just there as a protective thing. And I see that it overhangs quite a bit. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that overhang, but it actually hangs over that um, cover quite a bit, which I am not a huge fan of. I've never really liked their cover planner system. I really just love the Erin Condren laminated covers. I think that's one of the best things about Erin Condren. And then I picked out their newer color scheme, which I thought was really pretty. It definitely has like desert vibes for me. And this is a daily planner. So you can see I don't have a year's worth of tabs. I have six months. So I ended up starting in November. It came in October. So I have November through April. And then there's a little gratitude section that I added in the end. So I'm really excited about this section particularly. So we will end up walking through the planner here in just a second. I just wanted to show you guys the unboxing and basically like my first impressions. I think the planners are really pretty, like the covers are pretty, but I just don't like the, the way the covers are done. If this had been a laminated cover, I would really have liked it. And so walking through the planner a little bit, it's gonna be the same pages all the way through. So we've got the daily planner, the 2021 and 2022 year at a glance since November, December of 2021. They gave me both years. So you can use little dot markers or dot stickers to put your own color coding on there or even just highlight weeks. And then you have these special dates. You can use this for whatever you want, birthdays, anniversaries, things to note. And then you have this section that is blank. So it gives you, you know, the 12 sections. You can make them like monthly goals. It says ideas, plans, goals. You can divide them out monthly. You can just divide them out by topics, whatever you want. It seems like there's three different little color gradient, four different times. You can separate them out by different categories too. You don't necessarily have to do by month. And so we've got the November, which is like a, a mustardy color. December is like a powder blue. January is more of like a navy. February is more of a teal, and then March is more of a light aqua mint type color, and then April is more of a, I wanna say, not quite a salmon colored peachy pink, but almost there. And then the pages are gonna be the same throughout. They are just going to match the um, monthly tabs. And there are different versions. You can get the neutral, you can get this color scheme, and then there are traditional color scheme. So I ended up, labeling all of my sections except one. One of the best, best things about Plum Paper Planner is you, you know, you pick your starting month, you can pick whatever month you want. You can pick your titles for everything. There's lots of customization on the planner covers. If you like to keep the covers, you can put your name, you know, all sorts of different shapes, all sorts of different fonts, different colors. There's tons of different actual patterns and things. And then the best part about it is you know, changing your title. So I did this as like my ideal daily planner. I don't necessarily need an hourly section. So I didn't put really an hourly section. I have schedule right here. We usually have a couple of activities. So I will just put those up here as the schedule. I thought about doing top three, but then I thought there's no place to put scheduled tasks. So I ended up deciding that was gonna be my little scheduled task spot. And then I have a fitness section. I can put the minutes on this dotted line. This is the section that is actually supposed to be made for your schedule because it's got like the little dotted line where you can add your numbers. So mine just says fitness. I can put the minutes and then whatever activity it's gonna be. And then meals down here, I can add more than just like a one line dinner type thing. I'm really trying to be better about planning out more stuff. And then over here is the to-do list because it already has the little bullet spots. And then a section for notes, just for whatever. And then down here, I don't know what it's gonna go for yet. So it can also be a note section. If I didn't have the gratitude section, it could be gratitude. It could also be like a two columned thing. I could put quotes down here. I could cover this up with washi tape. Like the sky's the limit as far as what goes down here, but I don't know that I'll need sentences for anything aside from gratitude. So I'm really not sure about down here quite yet. It could also just be more notes section if I wanna put more notes. So every month is gonna be the same way where it's coordinated with the color on the tab. We've got the gradient color with the top three little section, which I labeled schedule. And they're all gonna be just like that. So looking through here, the gripe with a lot of people when they get these daily page planners is they don't have a day of the week for Saturdays and Sundays. Usually they'll put like a half thing and it'll be a little bit different, but not with Plum Paper Planner. Look at that, this is a Saturday and this is a Sunday. So you get your full amount of scheduling space for every single day. Cause I know a lot of people have tons of stuff going on on the weekends. They want the full page and with Plum Paper Planner, you get a full page, which is really nice. So again, same thing going on 
Oh, I forgot to show you guys the monthly view. I'll show you that in a second, but it's just coordinated to the same color. So January, a little bit darker. Just depends on which month you're in, what color you're gonna get, which is really pretty. It's nice and subtle, not in your face as far as the coloring goes, but just enough color to make it look pretty. So we'll go back and look at the monthly views. So here's one thing about the Plum Paper Planner that's something that people actually don't like, and I have a solution for that. Um, they have this page that's kind of like your dashboard for the month. You can put goals, birthdays, events, things to remember, and two other sections if you want that, and then a full page of notes. But this is on the tab, so this is a thick, you know, um, glossy type of paper. You have to use a different pen for this, so you could use these. This is a scrapbook.com one, but it is just um, a slick writer. They write on photos and glossy paper, but your normal, typical, everyday pen that you're gonna use on your paper is not gonna work on this glossy cardstock. That's something that people don't like about this planner necessarily, but also they don't like that the monthly view doesn't open right on the tab. So a lot of times people won't use these pages and just tape them together or washi them together. Um, so you flip right from the tab to the monthly view. Also, I just tend to not use the monthly view very much. So I just tend to use the Ollie clip and just clip to whatever week or day I'm on so that I can always have myself open right to the tab. I don't know if that, that's gonna work so great for the daily planner since you're gonna change every day, but it might be an idea for some people. So looking at the monthly view, it's pretty basic. The colors coordinate with the tab. You get the next month view, you get a little place for notes and that's it basically takes up the whole thing. So I'll flip through those really quickly. December, January, they just coordinate really well. February, I like the February color the best. <laughs> I'm all about aqua and teal. March, and then the April. And then the next section is gratitude. And I added quite a bit of pages to this. So I'm gonna add this back into my planner video. I had already edited this video and I realized when I was flipping through this today, I totally, forgot something. <laughs> I did not realize I ordered a habit tracker dispersed throughout. So I ended up ordering one habit tracker page per month dispersed throughout the whole planner. So that ended up being at the end of each month. So I had talked about this and I thought it was really good. You got like one week of habit tracking and I thought that was funky. Totally didn't just flip the page over <laughs> and realize there is a week for every week in the month. So you have week one, week two, week three, week four, and week five in case it's a five week month. So you can keep track of your habits. And then you talk about habit reflection. So you kind of wrap up the month, you look towards your next month's habits. It's got habit reflection, my successes, my shortcomings, next month's goals. So you can really map some things out, do some habit tracking, goal tracking, and I love it. I did not realize that this whole page of habit tracking existed. So it's great to have it in the month. I just ordered it like a week earlier and Apparently I'm a, I'm a brain dead stay at home mom. I just totally forgot what I even ordered. So when I flipped to the back of each section, when I first did my walkthrough, I was like, hmm, that's weird. I don't know where this came from. I thought it was something that was just like at the end of each month, but it happens to be something I totally ordered. So I ordered these dispersed throughout. I also ordered the gratitude section at the end. There are tons and tons of options that I kind of glossed over in my original video. So I'm adding this back in. There are tons of different sections you can add in as you know the back of your planner sections or you can add them dispersed throughout you have to-do lists cleaning lists different business related goals personal related things self-care related things lots and lots and lots of options so there's tons to look through there's also tons of sticker options you can add to the back of your planners and that just makes plum paper planner that much better having tons of customizability so i just wanted to mention that because i totally did a bonehead move not seeing the other pieces of the habit tracking and I think that's great to have at the end of each month so you can just flip to the back of the month work on your habits and keep up with goals and things so I love this I just think it's a great great addition to the planner and I didn't realize I had added it <laughs> so we've got the gratitude section and this is just what it says I am grateful for blank because blank and I added enough pages that I could fill one of these out every day of the six months. So I did some little calculating. I have a little bit more than six months worth because of how many pages you have to buy at a time. There's like a set number of pages in a set of the gratitudes and you buy it how many you need. So I will write, you know, what I'm thankful for on here and use one of these sections per day, which I think is cute. So at the end of the gratitude section, 
There's a dot thread paper, two of those, then some contacts, and then a passwords list, and then the next calendar, 2023, which I can't believe we're even talking about, and then their little planner folder, double-sided folder, and the back cover, and it's also got the plastic over the top. And that's it, so there's six months. I'm really excited about this one. And that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I do have a referral code in the description box down below. If you're interested in Plum Paper Planner, you can check that out in the description box down below. I really, really highly recommend them. They're just such lovely planners and such a lovely company. So I hope you'll give them a try. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like these planner videos. I'm really trying to aim for a weekly planner video for you guys again. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.